Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. I wanted to show you what we do when we get our Panasonic Whisper Value fans installed as part of the process of getting it up and running. This is not a sponsored post, but I use these fans exclusively in our new construction homes. I think it's a fan that every builder or remodeler should at least consider when it comes to their ventilation strategy. I've removed the cover so that you can see the different components of this particular fan. This one has pretty much all of the modules that I specify when it comes to wet rooms. I determine uh, what modules we do depending on what the needs of the room are. So in this case, you can see that it's got the LED light. We have a separate switch for the night light. And then there's a switch to make the fan run manually. But when you come up inside it, you can see what some of the different settings are and how it works. There are the CFMs, 50, 80, and 100. So you can switch that. The higher it is, the more air you can exhaust, but the louder it is. Over there is the relative humidity dial. So right now I've got it set pretty high. And at the end of the video, I'll turn it over to show you how you can see what your relative humidity in the house is. You can see how the wiring works. This is the module that gets clipped in uh, to the cover. When you first purchase the fan, it actually gets taped or it comes taped in. So you have to take that out and clip it in there. And then you can see how the wiring works to supply power to the light. So when we turn the relative humidity dial over, you'll see what happens. So it turned on at 50 to 60. So now we have it running. And we'll see if we can hear a difference as we turn up the CFMs. And one more. So it's still an awfully quiet fan. But that is uh, the quick little walkthrough of once the fan is installed. So that's it in a nutshell. Here's a couple of tips that might help you out. Before you even install the trim, you might adjust that dial for the relative humidity sensor or set the CFM to what you want it to be at. Again, it's 50, 80, or 100. What we always do is turn the relative humidity sensor up fairly high right off the bat. During construction, there's a pretty high moisture load though, so you might want that running more to try to evacuate more air. Just really depends on what you're doing as far as your humidity control is concerned. When it comes to the CFMs, most homeowners like quiet fans. However, they might want it to be able to exhaust more air. So our default is to set it at 50, and then in the future, that can be adjusted. You also want to think about, again, what room and what the needs of the room are when it comes to selecting your modules. So a well-lit utility room may only need a fan. It might not need the light, might not need the relative humidity sensor. So you can save yourself some cost there. In a water closet, it might be a relatively small room. Rather than having a separate can light, and an exhaust fan, why not combine them in one? So we'll typically have a fan with the light integrated into the fan, but no relative humidity sensor. So those are a couple of options that you can think about as you do this. Uh, really, it is a smart, rational way to design to figure out what the needs of the room are and then adjust your exhaust accordingly. So I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below, ask your questions, and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, subscribe if you appreciated this, and thanks for watching.